My name is Mary Webb Adams, and I'm going to be talking about fab number two from Dr. Gary Hunter's Fab 50 slides. Once you understand what marketing is, you can then dive into one of the key important aspects of creating a successful brand or company, the marketing strategy. As you can see on fab number two, there are a few definitions describing what marketing strategy is, and I would like to break those down one by one. First, I want to start by thinking about the dictionary definition. Oxford Dictionary states that strategy is a plan or policy designed to achieve a major or overall aim. In marketing, the aim or overall achievement is creating value and consumer exchange with positive gains for your business. But to truly understand something, it's important to begin at its roots. The aspect of strategy begins in the military. So to better grasp the understanding of what strategy means, it's great to learn more from Carl von Clausewitz, who wrote On War. He said, strategy is the use of engagements for the object of war. This describes strategy being what gets you to achieve that object of war. Now that the understanding of strategy is explained, the pieces of business and strategy can be put together to get to the next block to better understand marketing strategy. Michael E. Porter, known as a leading authority of competitive strategy, wrote this quote to describe strategy and business. The essence of business strategy is choosing a unique and valuable position rooted in systems of activities that are much more difficult to match. This quote directly relates to a key aspect of marketing, differentiation. Differentiation is the act of striving to distinguish your company's product from the competition. What makes you different from your competitors? What makes someone stop in a store to pick up your product? A fast food chain that directly relates to this is Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A has two main differentiation tactics to enhance their marketing strategy. The first, customer service, and the second are their values. In an interview with BuzzFeed, David Farmer, the Chick-fil-A's vice president of restaurant experience, said that he was looking for pit crew efficiency, but where you feel like you just got hugged in the process. Everyone knows their ending to every experience. My pleasure. Also, their values create a buzz around their market. The company's founder, Truett Cathy, was a Southern Baptist and the business is still family owned. The firm's corporate purpose is to glorify God by being a faithful steward to all that is entrusted to us and to have a positive influence on all who come into contact with Chick-fil-A. This also leads to their famous closure on Sundays. And finally, to truly understand the marketing strategy, it all comes together with Dr. Gary Hunter's definition. A customer-centric marketing strategy is a plan designed to gain or sustain customer value in a chosen target market. With the strategy explanations we've already seen, it's important to realize that planning and choosing your target market are two important aspects of creating a successful marketing strategy. The best marketing strategies can tailor offerings to the target market and create value. The last example to end marketing strategies is McDonald's. They have established their main target market as young families with kids as they create value through Happy Meals and free toys, as well as differentiation through their powerful marketing and well-known cheap menu. This concludes fab number two. Thanks for watching.